It's children's time, and I'm so excited to be back with you, my dear children of God, both young and not so young. It's been a little strange, hasn't it, and a little scary? Like I wake up every morning in my bed and my nice, comfortable house, and then I turn the TV on, and I'm scared because it's just, I don't know what's going to happen, and I don't even know what is happening. And it reminded me of a story that I read my grandson the other day, and I wanted to share it with, with you. So it's called, There's an Alligator Under My Bed. And it's about a little boy who has an alligator under his bed that no one can see. And he's tried to adapt to sharing his room with the alligator. And actually this trying to adapt reminds me that in the beginning of our monster virus that we're under, we bought lots of toilet paper and hand sanitizer thinking that that would keep us safe. Well, this little boy thinks if he crawls onto his bed very carefully and quietly, that he won't bother the alligator and that he can share his room with him but he still knows that the alligator is there and he is not happy about that. He doesn't want him in his room. So he screams for his mom and dad. And um, they say, well, we can't see any alligator. They look under the bed, they don't see it. You're just gonna, you know, you're okay. Don't worry, we'll take care of you. Well, he's just going to have to take care of it all by himself. So like all of us, he thinks that, well, food will help him get the monster under control. So he goes to the refrigerator and gets lots of foods. And he puts a peanut butter sandwich and the last piece of pie in the garage. He puts fruit and vegetables on the stairs. And sure enough, here comes the alligator. He eats everything in his bedroom and off he goes down the stairs until he gets into the garage. <gasps> hooray, hooray, success. And he doesn't even have to clean up the food afterwards. So he settles back into his comfortable bed. He finally has his own safe room back and he has figured out how to get the monster out of his room. But uh-oh, what is his dad going to do when he has to go get the car in the morning? I better write him a note. Dear dad, there's an alligator in the garage. If you need help, wake me up. The end of this story. So I'm hoping that his dad is pretty smart and he'll probably have some ideas of how to get rid of this monster. But in our case, the monster virus, I think dad might need a little more than um, he can do all by himself. And hopefully he knows that he can call on God. God for help, for our God is an awesome God, a faithful God. And this week, as we prepare for um, Lent, and we're, as we finish Lent and go into the resurrection of Christ, we know that our God is a faithful God. He keeps his promises and he has promised always to be with us, especially during scary times. So call on him, children, and remember he is there for us. Amen.